Hello and welcome back to my lifestyle channel. Today we made ornaments. So this was a very long process and um, my lighting is like shot now. So thankfully most of this video is going to be an overlay video of uh, the process of making ornaments. I tried to get as much footage as I possibly could of each ornament that we made um, or each type because we did make a few different types of ornaments. So yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. Ornament making is so much fun. Um, when I was younger, my mom would always make the salt dough ornaments and I believe it was cinnamon she would add to them and we would make like gingerbread men um, with cookie cutters and stuff and then you could bake them and hang them on your tree. I actually still have some. My mom a couple years ago actually made us a new set um, of our family, 2018. So I have these. Um, but she used to make these with us when we were little and they're just so cute. Um, and this video really isn't about the salt dough ones because I didn't really per se make any of them tonight. She made little ones too for the boys. They're so cute. Um, also, if you hear the boys, it's because it's mom life here tonight and you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> this is vlogmas. This is real. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, I've always grown up like making ornaments. Um, and I just, I love it. I've never ventured out even more besides doing vinyl ornaments, which I have done some that I'll show you guys. But um, a year or two ago, we started doing wood burn ornaments for our Etsy shop, Hunts DIY. And I will have that link down below if you are interested. I know it's a little late in the game for ordering ornaments this year, but um, we do wood burn ornaments. My husband actually like free hands these with a wood burner and he does amazing. I don't know how he does it. I have to sketch everything out first and then I can, you know, paint over it or, you know, wood burn, whatever the case may be, but I can't just like freehand stuff. Like I'm not that talented, which segues us into, I'm no artist. So some of these might be a little, ooh, but I'm not an artist. My creative outlet and my artistic ability has been makeup and um, eyeshadow looks and stuff. So I am not an artist when it comes to drawing and that type of ordeal, but and I'm not really big on drawing, but I love painting. So um, to go with the wood burn ornaments, I've seen a lot of people using these little wood slices um, to paint on, and I wanted to try my hand at it this year. We buy these in bulk because they always do so good on our shop. So with the leftovers and also recycled ones that were a mess mistake because we're very particular about our orders and if the littlest thing is off Justin wasn't completely centered <laughs> we will do a new ornament for you and in that case I repurposed it and did an ornament for my son's tree the boys have new trees this year they're doing new themes Roman's doing snowman Axel is doing the Grinch you're gonna you're gonna see it from here but I will be doing two full videos on their trees. Um, they are coming for you guys. Um, we gotta, we had to get through the ornament making, so we have all of our ornaments now. Um, we bought some, but we wanted to make a lot of them. So yeah, the first ones we did was the five painted ornaments a piece, and the boys were a big help with this. <laughs> they at least did the first base coat. Um, Roman had, I think, one white and the rest were blue, and then Axel had green and white I think a red one. So I'm gonna show you guys all of them. They did the base colors for me, and then by then they were like, mm, I'm bored, I'm done, I wanna go play. <laughs> Hi, I'm. my name's Mario, but we don't got our hats on. But there's my little, there's Luigi here. <laughs> so this is Roman and Axel, nope. but right now, I know, right now they're Mario okay. and Luigi. Okay. Oh, did you get a little bit of paint? It's okay. And we are painting some ornaments. Oh, they're gonna look so good. I cannot wait. But mine's already done. Well, All I'm right, gonna... we gotta let the blue dry. I've done By it. By blowing it. It's done it. By...
while those dried, I was able to tackle other ornaments um, and then come back to them once they were dried down. And Axel's two first ones, the white based ones, I turned into peppermints, which I think are really cute. For his Grinch tree, I'm wanting just bold red and green. He has a white tree. It's really going to pop. I cannot wait to have it all together and show you guys. Um, this is our little tree in our living room and this is usually filled with like nostalgic ornaments that we had like my little gingerbread family um, and ornaments that James had growing up. Those are the ones that are going to be on this tree and it will be in a video. I don't know if it'll get its full video, but it will be in a vlog at least. But I thought it would be, since I just have the lights on it, some of my lights went out down here too, so I have to re replace those. It's an older tree. Um, but I thought why not set right here so that I can hang these up as we go. They're so cute though, and I love how uh, the peppermints turned out. And moving on, um, I wanted to have, or I ran out of like ideas, cause I was like, I'm gonna be here all night if I'm painting um, actual like characters. Cause I did do, for Axel, I did do the Grinch, and it was pretty easy to do. I was actually like a little stressed out. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. Um, but I just sketched him out after Axel painted the green. I sketched out his face and everything, and then um, just went into paint over it. And the paint, um, at least black paint kind of just goes right over the lines. The other paint I had to go over like maybe twice to cover up all the pencil marks, but I just drew with the pencil very lightly. It was pretty easy to do. Um, and then I realized I didn't have any yellow paint handy, so I had to mix. Roman's doing snowman themes, so I picked up orange paint uh, for the snowman carrot no noses. So I just mixed a little bit of the orange with the uh, white to form this kind of like tan, but it actually dried down so good and is pretty spot on for the Grinch. I think it is so cute though. I kind of wish I would have done another one, but it makes this one really special. For Axel's word one, we just did a red ornament and a green. You're a mean one. My husband actually freehanded this, like he wrote it out for me, because my handwriting is not pretty, guys. But I did paint over it, and I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> and then, m probably my favorite out of Axel's that we um, made, and it's like such a simple one. We, well, Axel painted it green, and then I did a red heart and put glitter on it, and it's the Grinch's heart, and I just think it's so cute. I think it's going to be such an adorable ornament on his tree and it's just gonna pop with the glitter and being on a white tree. Moving on to Romans, um, like the peppermints, I wanted to do two snowflakes. So he painted them blue and then I did the white snowflakes. They were pretty simple and easy to do. These are matte, I did not put glitter on these, but I think that they turned out so cute and they were really simple to do and again, <laughs> I don't want to throw out any of the ornaments that we accidentally mess up on on order, so this was just like perfect timing. And I'm sure as they get older, they'll want bigger trees and we can just add on and make more ornaments. Um, and then for Roman's word, one, or quote, or whatever, we put a white one and let it snow in blue. And then his character ones are two snowmen, and I'm really proud of these two. They're so cute. Um, I looked everywhere. Roman wants, he has a black Christmas tree. And you guys will hear more about this in the video on his Christmas tree coming very soon. But he has a black Christmas tree and he wanted snowman theme. So I'm like, we're gonna have to get bright with the ornaments. But then he's like, I want blue. I don't want any other color. Just, it's a black tree with white and blue ornaments for snowmen. And every ornament, every decoration I have found with snowmen on it have green and red and these bright colors. And I'm like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I'm like, he's not gonna like it. So um, that made making our own ornaments really handy too because I was able to customize them how I wanted and put a lot of blue on them. And I just think that they're so cute. Oh, I had so much fun with these. This one, um, down in the snow, you might be able to see it, actually has glitter. And I put glitter on a couple of the snowflakes around him too, but he's such a cute little, little focus. He's such a cute little snowman. I'm so inspired now, and like I said, it's kind of late to order ornaments. I mean, you definitely can if you want to check them out, but um, I'm kind of inspired to, for next year to put some of my painted ornaments up on my Etsy um, in case anybody wants some or whatever the case may be because they were actually really fun to make, so I feel like I would enjoy doing it. 
And since we have these, I'm not gonna have to make a whole lot of them for my kids next year, because I think we're gonna be good with the same trees next year. Let's hope. So while multitasking with letting the paint dry down, um, I did order some plastic ornaments and I'm kind of bummed at myself for doing it because of, uh, I'm just not a big fan of plastic things. So the reason I did though was if I was to buy glass ones, I feel like that would be more wasteful because my kids are so destructive. <laughs> I mean, we've went through like four TVs. Boys are fun. Um, so I went with plastic because if these bust open, I can just put them back together and they're a little bit more durable. Um, we, their bedrooms are carpeted, so we should be good to go either way, but just in case, I'm like, let's just stick to the plastic ones. Um, so these are axles, of course. I stuffed them with Grinch fur and let me tell you, this time of the year, Grinch fur is so expensive. I looked everywhere and I'm like, I literally just need fur to put into a couple of ornaments. And it's like insane. Everywhere I looked was like, you have to buy two yards. And I'm like, I don't need two yards of Grinch fur. <laughs> so um, I am doing something else and you guys are gonna have to wait for Axel's video on it because it's, it's so cute. But I'm doing something else with Grinch fur. <laughs> and I had to buy it in a set, and the set came with a Santa hat that had a Grinch mustache, or beard. And I'm telling you guys, the kids put this on and the beard came down to like here. Like it was just like wide open, and then a beard hanging down here. And then I put it on, and the beard was like down here still. So I'm like, we're never gonna use this anyway, so I cut the beard off the Santa hat. We still have the Santa hat, but I put the beard in here, and they're perfect, they're exactly what I wanted. Um, a lot of his other ornaments, because these aren't their only ornaments, we did buy some. Um, I just wanted a lot of handmade ones too. But um, a lot of the ones that I bought, I could not find lime green or like the bright Grinch green, and that's what Axel wants. So um, again, I had to get creative because these kids have demands. <laughs> Um, so a lot of the ornaments we bought are red and white or like peppermint or you know that type of bordel So I wanted to add a little bit more of a green throw to the tree So that's why I did these two, but they are just plastic ornaments. I bought um, a bulk set um, Like a smaller bulk set off of Amazon and I'm sure we'll use them eventually for stuff too um, we're, we're crafty. We use crafts and stuff all the time So I'm sure I'll use them all eventually, but I do think they're really cute and I think they're gonna be perfect on this tree. So for Roman's fillers, as you can see, there's one on the tree already. It just kind of filled with snow, but these are filled with the fake styrofoam. I had a bunch of this kind of like leftover in bags, but I also found the confetti um, glitter snowflakes at Hobby Lobby. So I picked those up to throw in here. Um, I just thought they would be really cute, and I love how they turned out. Again, these are gonna be super messy if they do bust open, and if they do, it's probably gonna be like, we're done with those. <laughs> but I do think they're really cute. He actually helped me make these, and he loved them, so. Um, I just thought they were a perfect little filler, and again, he has a black tree, and he wants snowmen. So, we needed some white to balance out all the black on the tree. All right, and then moving on, let's do Romans first this time. Um, I talked about vinyl ornaments. We used to do glass ornaments and we would have like, we would get vinyl and print it on like our Cricut and then put it on them. So I did that this time around too. These are our glitter ones. So these are the same plastic ones. I wanted to have a variety of them. I wanted to use at least a few a piece, so I did four a piece for the boys. And I did the glue trick where you put the glue in there and then you dump in the glitter. And I did white glitter on Romans, but it was seriously like, it was a Charlie Brown want, want, want moment. Like I was like, okay, <laughs> what do we do now? So the confetti I just showed you guys and these with the um, like blue snowflakes and stuff, I actually poured that down in, in these and you can kind of see that there's blue snowflakes in there, but it looks so cool against like the glue it dried down and they just look frosted they're so cool and it's it honestly is like perfect like this just to hang on the tree like that I think is so pretty um, but I wanted to I did a vinyl 
for Axel, so I wanted to include Roman. I didn't want anybody to feel left out. So I did do a little wonky snowman. <laughs> it's really hard uh, putting round vinyl on a round object. I had a difficult time with this, so I did the best I could. But he has a snowman on this one, and then on this one I just did a snowflake because if we don't want to show them, we can always just show the pretty side with like just the frosted over, but they're really cute. All right, and the last two that I have for the boys, um, well, for Axel, is his Grinch ones. Aren't they adorable? It just wants to focus on me. There we go. So I did the same technique with the glue and then the green glitter in these, and it's a mess. Glitter is awful to work with in general, but you can kind of see the back sides are pretty rough. Um, if you have tips on that, let me know and I can let everybody know <laughs> in the description or on the blog today because <sighs> I had to let it dry and then I there was just so much excess glue and I tried to not put too much glue. I tried to scoop out as much as I possibly could of the excess, but once it started like gooping up and like drying down a little bit, I was able to smear it around again, so it kind of saved the day on these. Um, on the fronts at least, but who cares? They're just gonna see the front anyways. And then the Grinch faces I printed on the Cricut, so aw, it's focusing on the heart. Um, but yeah, these are just from the Cricut, and they're just Grinch faces. If it will focus, there we go. Oh, 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 almost. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're so cute. I love them. I just think it's turning, they're turning out so cute. Still pretty simple to do. They're not perfect, but they're homemade ornaments. Who cares? That's exhausted, this little one. He is exhausted. I think it was too much for him. I just wiped my hat on. Luigi! <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. You gotta stay away. It's not even dinner I'm yet. Done. Are you done? You want to get down? Okay, you can get down. I can get down too. Can you get all aprons off? Mm -hmm. Hey, don't pull on it like that. You'll just tighten it. You gotta pull the string. Did all the playing this afternoon just make you tired? All right. Oh, don't get your hand in the glitter. That is my cricket behind me, by the way. I just finished those. It's been a, a long process. Um, so the last ornaments I want to mention are these salt dough ornaments, and I don't have a recipe or anything. It's literally, I believe, like flour, salt, and water. Like, it's really simple, and you can look one up. I'll eventually try to do one for you guys, but um, I wanted to show these because I made these a little while back, and they're another homemade one. They're a lot like the gingerbread men I was talking about that my mom makes, but I made this round one. Um, to resemble our first home and it says our first home in green and then I put glitter over it. It's kind of hard to see um, unless you're in person more so. And then on the back is um, the first address where we lived um, together as a family of three at the time and um, it's really special. I love it and from there I wanted to continue but I had seen the idea of doing an ornament with your keys and so I decided to do that. And no, I didn't steal the keys to houses we rented. <laughs> I just made indentions of them. <laughs> um, it's, it's all about the sentimental stuff. But I actually made these both Christmases that we lived at two different houses. And they were just baked and that's it. I never did anything else with them. Um, so I finally this year was like, I'm going to actually paint them and make them like ready to be hung on this Christmas tree. These, again, these ornaments won't stay here. They're gonna be on the boys Christmas tree. It actually looks hella cute though, I have to say, but um, it's gonna hold our other ornaments that I have right here. Um, but again, these are keepsakes. These are really special ornaments. So these are perfect for this tree. And all I did was paint one. Um, the first one is painted red um, and it has green writing and then like the glitter over it so the gold glitter so i thought it'd be perfect for our next home and again i have the addresses written on the back it's just such a cute thing i know not everybody moves around as much as i have in my lifetime but i did think it was really cute for us to all look back on as a family and think of those homes and those christmases that we had there um but this one is the house that we got 
um, after our first home um, that we were renting. And this, it, I just painted it green to make it a little bit different than the first one. And then um, I put glue in the indention from the key and then just dumped in the glitter. And glitter kind of gets everywhere, but I still think it turned out really cute. And then the same thing with our last house. Now our current home, <laughs> We're again renting. Um, I would love to buy a house soon, but um, since we are renting, I need to do it again. So that's why I will probably share it with you guys again soon in a video or um, a blog or something. Maybe this Vlogmas, we will see. Um, I don't know how much ornament making you guys really want this year, but if I don't get around to it this year, I will do it next year. Um, but that is it. That is this completed video. Um, while I'm here, I also wanted to just mention, I know like my videos have been posted late every single night. I really am trying. I am working so hard on this vlogmas and then my internet is like, nope, not working for you. So one day I didn't have internet almost all day long. Um, and then now it's just so slow. I'm about to lose my mind. It's late at night and my video for this current day, it's still uploading and is not going up. So don't think it's going to make it tonight. Um, so I'm probably going to be a day behind. So, um, Within the week, I will probably post two videos in one day and I'll just do one of my, one of my, I guess, bigger videos and then one of my vlog style videos in the same day just so we can play a little catch up. If I don't do that, then I will just post um, maybe like the day after Christmas too for the Christmas vlog, which might turn out a little bit better doing it that way. I don't know, I'm still figuring out, but either way, I apologize. I, I am going to commit and do this 25 days of Vlogmas, so stick with me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If I did forget anything, check out the blog today. It's linked down below. It's going to have pictures of all these ornaments, and it's going to have some details and stuff there um, in case I did forget anything here, but I still hope you got the idea. They're just cute. They're fun to do. Um, kid friendly. I have a four and seven year old, so it's a little bit hard keeping them still for that long, but if you have even older kids, they may love to do this too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.